So for the first time in 215,000 miles, I decided to change the shocks. Well, at least the fronts, because don't have the right rears. But yeah, these were definitely done. I mean, I can, you can hear them leaking. So if you're gonna change the front shocks in a Cayenne steel spring, not a not a uh, air suspension. Uh, this is the kicker right here. If you can get that upper ball joint off, you can make your life very easy. Um, yeah, that one's a little bit tasty. Everything's done from under the car. So you have one, two, three, four 13 millimeter bolts that hold in the shock tower and that drops down and then you got to get it. That's why you have to take the upper ball joint off to be able to swing this guy out of the way. And the trick is to swing him towards the rear. And now you have enough room to get creative that you can get the whole thing out. There's only one bolt on the bottom, but you do have to take the uh, tie rod, um, not the tie rod end, the sway bar link off. And what I did was I took the sway bar link off from the bottom. I left it attached here because if you look how the factory put the bolt in, they put the bolt this way. Absolutely can't do that in the car. But if you're on the bench, no problem. You can put that in. So it was one. No, just to get the strut out was one, two, three, and then the four. Uh, in the top. Now one of the tricks that I did find is this guy here attaches to the back of this and if you move him you can get some room for your brake line and you can get some room uh, for the other parts. And here is what's hiding back there. So it's a Torx. Um, goes in this way in the back here and it holds the brake hose as well as, I'm assuming this is ABS or something along those lines, but uh, it might be just the brake wear sensor. But that's a trick that I found that really helped me was to take the bracket, it goes right here, take the bracket off the back, then I could move all this stuff around a lot. Um, shouldn't require an alignment, but we'll get it checked anyway. But yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't the toughest thing in the world. There are a lot of par parts in there, so I did not realize how many parts are in there. So I just replaced the shock um, with a new Bilstein shock. But I think if I was to ever do this again in another 200,000 miles, there's a bump stop, there's a bellows, and then there's this plastic protective cover. So all kinds of parts. And then the lower rubbers and the upper rubbers, they were actually still in really good shape. So I was pretty happy about that. But a couple of the parts on the uh, on the inside definitely could have spent another 250 bucks on just those little sundry parts. They won't hurt anything. Maybe not having the bellows uh, might uh, make the shock wear out faster. But if we get half the mileage out of these, we got out of the last one. I will be very happy. So again, this is a 2004, so a Gen One. Be good up to 06. A steel spring Cayenne S and changing the front shocks is not the hardest thing in the world. These are some heavy duty springs though, so make sure you use multiple spring compressors when you uh, when you try and take these off if you do. That is a lot of uh, pent up energy. All right, thanks for watching. Check us out on brightworks.com.